Welcome to Austria. You have to forgive me while I'm trying to put my glasses on under my fresh new gumball hat. So, if you tuned in last time, we were with the V8 Bentley Bentayga in Kitzbühel, Austria, which is about, I don't know, 45 minute drive down the road here. Up until now, it's kind of been a bit overcast and a little bit dull, but today we have this beautiful crystal clear sky so we can actually see where we're skiing and that's the point of the day. However, walk with me. Um, we've been given a new Bentley. We have the keys here to the W12. What's really cool about this experience is that my drive in the V8 Bentayga the other day uh, was my first Bentley Bentayga experience. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, but Bentley have very kindly given me the keys to the W12 version, which was the car that they initially launched. Just quickly, look at that. That is the view from our hotel. Yeah, let's go and check out our Bentayga. I'm gonna run you through the options list because uh, th despite the fact that on paper, the base price of these cars looks almost acceptable, uh, I find it uh, baffling how many optional extras are on this car. So let's go and check that out. Uh, check out what it's like to kind of live with really. This is a sort of crash course in living with a Bentayga because we managed to pack in our skis and snowboards and things like that. And then we're gonna drive down the road to a skiing area or skiing district called Salbach. And then uh, yeah, make the most of this fresh powder, blue skies, etc. All right, this is our car. This is our W12 Bentayga. Uh, the color, to be honest, is not to my taste. Um, but it's called Bentayga Bronze. And as you'll see shortly, the spec on it is glorious. Uh, we've conveniently been given the option of the sort of ski chute in between these two seats. Uh, this actually has the luxury pack on it where each passenger has basically their own seat. It's not the sort of conventional bench that you often get on SUVs. Well, let's hop in and <laughs> I'll run you through the options list on this car because it is unbelievable. First of all, let me just lay your eyes on it because it is an incredible interior. As a place to sit, it is beautiful. Um, one of the cool things about getting press cars is uh, they give you, or at least Bentley do anyway, they give you this laminated spec sheet of exactly the sort of breakdown of the spec of this car. Um, now, as an idea, base price of this car is 175,200 euros. Don't get me wrong, that's a lot of money. Uh, but <laughs> the, the total option cost on this one is 64,000 euros, taking the car to 239,210 euros, just there. Um, and you might be thinking, how on earth is it possible to uh, put that many options on? Well, this here is the options list. If we pick out some of the larger numbers, we've got 5,600 euros here for Bentley rear entertainment with maps. That's basically two screens in the back so passengers can be entertained. Um, 6,685 euros for name for Bentley. Name, it's these speakers here. So name is a super high-end uh, British manufacturer and designer of sound systems. They've teamed up with Bentley to make a fantastic sound system. And I have to say, I checked it out on the drive over here and it is awesome, but nonetheless, uh, 6,685 euros. <laughs> Uh, and then there's all sorts of bits and bobs in there. So yeah, entry level price, not terrible, 175,000 euros. Uh, spec it up, you can go absolutely crazy. On the V8 that I drove um, two days ago, the optional extras were 80,000 pounds. I don't even know how that's a thing. I mean, you could buy an entirely new car for the options on that. So um, yeah, let's jump in, see how this thing compares to drive to the V8 and then saturate ourselves in this incredible environment before unfortunately I have to go home tomorrow. Bless it. Now I would normally say this is the first turn of the wheel in whatever new car I find myself filming in. But as it happens, I've been driving this car pretty much all of yesterday and obviously the drive over from Kitzbühel. I just wanted to really do a very brief comparison of the two cars. This video really isn't about comparing them uh, because essentially they are an identical car. Just one has a V8 in it and one has the W12. What's interesting for me is I've kind of approached this from 
the reverse aspect of the rest of the automotive world who definitely drove the W12 before the V8. Now when I drove the V8, the interesting thing is I couldn't have imagined it with anything else in it because that engine suited the car so much. Uh, one thing I would say, which is kind of surprising, is that the V8 actually sounds better. Well, I guess the approach that um, Bentley have taken with these two cars is the W12 is more of the luxurious Grand Tour approach to it. Uh, stunning amounts of uh, torque and effortless just pulling power in this car and it's very quiet. When you're cruising at these speeds, you're basically floating along. It's a beautiful experience. But when you open it up, it doesn't quite have that lovely characteristic barble that you seem to have got from the V8. And I think that's the biggest difference and where Bentley are positioning these two cars. This is a little bit more luxury refined and dare I say it, the V8 is a little bit more sporty. Um, I guess as a really quick summary i loved the v8 it was it was such a great car now weight difference they're actually very similar in fact the only difference in weight between the v8 and the w12 is in the actual engines themselves and it's only 25 kilogram weight saving obviously weight distribution is a little bit different but when you get on these two things when you accelerate in them and put them both into sport mode they both feel as agile as each other and i think for me if you watch this channel regularly, you know that I do enjoy a little bit of theater from my car experience. And the V8 for me does exactly that. It gives you just a little bit more theater. Also, the base price is this 30,000 pounds difference. Now, I know that sounds a lot, but by the time you've put on the extras, as you've seen, I mean, literally the sky is the limit. Interesting fact, and this goes to show really how much emphasis Bentley are putting on extras. The watch partner of Bentley is Breitling and they offer a Torbilon watch to go in the dash where the existing sort of standard Breitling clock sits that is actually more expensive than the car itself. So you can literally feature one optional extra, which is the Breitling Torbilon clock in the dash, which is more than the entry level price of the car itself. Yeah, so that gives you an idea of just how crazy the optional extras are on this car.